Got to work this morning, poured myself a cup of coffee, popped open my browser, went to LinkedIn just to see what was up, and started getting hit with the Tesla RoboTaxi posts. This one caught my attention. Let's do a deep dive on these pictures looking through the eyes of a 30-year technical professional because I think there's some things here that I see that other people are not seeing. Let's get into it. Okay, the post I'm looking at is from Stephen Robertson Jr. from the Brain Expansion Group off LinkedIn. I'm assuming all these are in the public domain. The reason I say so is you'll see in these pictures there's other people holding up cell phones and snapping pictures, so I'm assuming there was no embargo on taking pictures during these events. Seems to be lots of them around the internet. <clears throat> okay, much appreciated to uh, Stephen for po posting these onto LinkedIn. Let's go ahead and get into it. First off, this picture right here, and let me just flip through them real quick. If you look up, here's Elon with the thumbs up, and there's a gentleman right over his left shoulder. And if we advance to the next one, where is it? Right here, same picture. This is So this picture that was very prolific around media outlets is just a zoom in from this picture. And let's see what we're looking at. A couple of things. So again, I've worked in technology for 30 years, continuous. I've got a graduate degree in information technology. This is where I live and breathe. So there's many things in these images that I was starting to notice. Up here on the monitor, in this room you'll notice has a drop ceiling. So this is a different room than this room because this room has hanging lights and is not a drop ceiling. So two different rooms. <clears throat> in this room, assumedly a concert conference room by the size of the table, it was taken later on in the day because there's pizza eaten, right? So this is not a breakfast event. We see a bunch of Apple uh, laptops, and I'll get to those in a second, but we see a single screen over here, which also looks to be into some kind of video conference, judging from the little window down here. And this screen right here is gonna be replicated in the other room where they have multiple screens. And it's six cameras off a Tesla cyber cab, which is what you're looking at. And so these people are in a room, they're watching live feeds off a cyber cab that is going around Austin to some extent, having some kind of conference, enjoying spending time with their fearless leader, Elon. Eating pizza, drinking Diet Coke with a bunch of MacBooks. <clears throat> okay, so before I get into the knock image, this is uh, Elon's close up. And at, once again, that is just a zoom in from this picture right here. It is interesting to note this is um, opened up and you can see some kind of code, but MacBooks in particular are very uncommon in enterprise technology. Microsoft has basically got a monopoly. And when you see MacBooks, normally it's indication that someone is putting their finger on the scale and the information technology department doesn't have as much sway because these are very difficult to maintain in a fleet, but they're very reliable. They run so Mac OS is a derivative of Linux, at least in its inception, it was a version of, it was a fork of uh, FreeBSD, which has now been no longer POSI compliant. And it's, it's Linux. So like I run a version of Linux as well. My um, laptop right here is running a version of Linux called Red Hat. So those laptops are very commonly used for people who are developers who need a more efficient use of memory because they're doing lots of things that the resources of the laptop need to be more um, efficiently used. So Microsoft Windows is well known for not being as efficient of using the underlying, and it's a resource hog, the operating system itself. So <clears throat> assumingly these are a bunch of developers with developer laptops. And in multiple different locations throughout these pictures, we see Apple MacBooks in the hands of assumedly developers, obviously the AI team and the RoboTaxi team. But over here on this screen, this is a Microsoft Windows um, browser. 
you know so so because up here there's an X let's see if we can zoom in a little bit the browser has an X and a maximize button so this is a Windows machine back here these are Apple MacBooks okay let's go to this one in particular has the number 35 and there's a lot of speculation about this number 35 and so I did my best when you read these blurry texty things I find the way to read them the most effectively is to just not think just the first thing that pops in your brain when you see that so I see the word new right there the rest of the words I can't quite make out but some people are saying that means there's 35 robo taxis going around um, Austin. Now, from what I understand, there's only 20 influencers who were able to hail rides during this event. So only 20 people on the entire planet could hail rides. So the fact that there would be 35 does not seem right. But it does seem right that <clears throat> there's 35 cars in the fleet and a portion of them are back at the depot charging up because you know be burning through the battery so maybe they've got 10 of them roaming around or maybe 20 of them roaming around and then another 10 or 15 back at the fleet uh saying good in charge and then they just rotate them out so that does make sense but i don't know what this says or what this number means there's still a lot of speculation but as far as i can tell that first word is the word new and i'm not quite sure beyond that what that means Another thing to call out here, we see Windows again being the underlying operating system for these screens. So what these screens are is when you're running an operation center, you have a whole bunch of screens. And normally what you'll do is you'll combine them into one display area, and then you'll carve out the real estate of that display area for different sensors that you need to keep up for uh, people to monitor all the time in real time. That's the type of thing you would use this for. Now, what I don't see are any cables. So this wall, I mean, there is a junction box there. I suppose that could be where the cable, that seems a little bit of a skinny conduit to be running all those network cables. Uh, unless these are like Wi-Fi <coughs> uh, connected screens, which would surprise me, but I suppose that could be the case. Yeah, over here, there's no, so somewhere these screens are getting power. And the reason I point this out, if that's a concrete wall, which it appears to be, those have been affixed to the wall very cleanly without cables running, unless the cables are running down in a portion of the frame that is being blocked, but I don't see that. And the reason this was noteworthy to me is because there's a couple of things in here that lead me to believe this was kind of a hastily thrown together space and i'll get to that in just a second down over here you see um a windows machine so i'm assuming this station down here is the workstation that's running all those screens and let's just quickly go over what these screens are you've got a weather map here's the area of austin that uh, robo taxis are running in and i'm guessing what we're looking at are some of the robo taxis actually out there and the question about the number of robo taxis in that 35, let's just count on the screens. We have one, two, three, four, five screens showing robo taxi cameras. So we could all agree there's at least five. Now, are there more? And the answer is, I don't know if there's more. There's a number 35 there and there's five screens. So we know we have at least five robo taxis. But this one right down here, if you look over this guy's shoulder who's leaning over to his friend and whispering in his ear, you get a little capture of a couple other screens and I looked at this a good long while and these two cameras that this person with the headphones is looking at is not replicated in any of the screens up here. So unless he's looking at a replay of an event, which I don't think he is because he also has the same screen of the Austin area in the window next, that means there's at least six. And if you go over to his friend over here, it looks like there's another one over here. So again, the area of Austin and what with this blue bar. And so these people are looking at cameras of robo taxis. And we have the big screen up here um, showing, or the big collection of screens up here showing multiple different things. This is likely telemetry of positive ride 
um, outcomes, and there's a couple of yellow ones. This is all pretty regular stuff, and someone's very hastily put together these statistics from analytics. Um, could be Splunk, could be Power BI, I'm not quite sure. But again, these are all Windows machines, which is what you would expect to see in an operations center. And um, cameras being fed in from uh, robotaxis going through Austin, it looks like in real time. And as I mentioned, this gentleman or lady, I can't quite see their face, has got a camera where they're taking a picture of these screens. So again, I'm assuming all these pictures are public domain and is fine to be discussing what we are. These are all posted to uh, public social media platforms and no one seemed to be upset about any of that. Again, notice the high ceiling, the concrete wall, and I'm gonna to get to this in the next picture as well. Okay, this is the picture that is, in my opinion, the money shot. Obviously what happened here, if you look, these people were working at these stations and someone said, hey, everyone get together and let's take a picture. Now, first off the bat, as a 30 year technical professional, our industry is very heavily a sausage party. There's very few gender equality levers in technology and I don't know why that is. I'm a big proponent of uh, women in technology. I try, if all things are equal, to lean towards giving a job offer to a lady versus a man. But uh, there are, it's nice to see, there's a couple of ladies. One, two, there's this lady right here, and I'll get to her in a second. Uh, there's this lady, and then this lady over here. So it's not all guys, which is to me is a uh, indication it's a little bit more of a progressive technical environment in which these people are working in. And um, so that's what happened. Everyone said, come on, everyone get together, let's take a picture. And this guy's super excited. I don't know who he is. She's obviously an executive because she's wearing the coat and she spends her days in meetings. I'm not sure who that is. This lady right here, if you look, everyone's looking at the camera. She ain't. <laughs> she, she's all work. She is looking at the computer sitting over here. And again, this is one of these Apple computers. Um, likely over here, these are Windows computers on the side, and I'll get to those in a second. But I'm thinking she's a PhD data scientist um, who is one of the brains of the operation and is keeping close tabs on what is going on. That's my take of what uh, her job function is. Okay, now a couple additional things. So I was looking back here and let me see how zoomed in I can get. Stick with me, my... Miles is a little bit glitchy. This guy is super excited. He is so glad to be here. But if you look right here, now over here there's a couple of racks of servers is what those look like. But right here, I looked at that and I'm like, looks like microwaves. And then I started to think, you know, well maybe they got some microwaves together for these people to eat lunch. But there's a lot of freaking microwaves. You know, let's looks to me like either six or nine microwaves here. So then I started to think, well, maybe what I'm looking at is Giga Texas's break room. And I'm pretty sure that is what I'm looking at. So this is speaking to me of haste. So this is not a dedicated room for the operations team of the CyberCab effort to set up their operations in. Someone said, take over the break room, is what it appears to be. And they filled it up with desks, monitors, and um, stations here. And uh, so the break room has been repurposed. Uh, that to me, again, speaks of haste. And if we look at the ceiling, this does look to be inside Giga Texas because everyone knows what Giga Texas looks like. It's that big concrete building with the um, concrete walls on the inside and likely on the other side of this uh, draped curtain is uh, production going on to one form or another of the production floor. And this would have been the break room for the people working on the production lines that has now been repurposed as the operation center for the cyber cab team, cyber taxi team. So it's a pretty big room too. There's a lot of workstations. So this guy right here is continuing to work through the picture. He wasn't interested in having his picture taken. And uh, the people who were coming here for breaks previously now need to find a different place to do so. And that, again, to me speaks of 
haste. Like there was some sudden need, and instead of finding a place to put all these people, they just shoved them in the break room and they said, let's get it done over here. So some people might say that is indication of Tesla's ability to be nimble, and other people might say that that's you know, a bit of an erratic executive decision. Now, over here, next to this gentleman, there's a steering wheel. That steering wheel is there for one of two reasons. Either on their brakes, they get to play Gran Turismo, or, and the second reason I really shudder to think, but there's a steering wheel just over the right shoulder of this gentleman, but he's, it's not alone. So there's another steering wheel right here. There's a third steering wheel right here. And unless I'm mistaken, there's another steering wheel here. So basically this area right in here is all full of steering wheel stations. So once again, someone said, hey, everyone come into the middle to get your picture taken. So let's just say we took the picture. All these people are then going to return to their stations. Um, I don't know if there's enough of these stations for a one-to-one -one match per cyber cab, cyber taxi, but I think so. Likely with 20 influencers who are the only people on the planet able to summon a cyber or a cyber taxi, um, a robo taxi during the Austin event. There weren't 35 of these things roaming around Austin. Likely there was only a certain number of them. And it looks, well, I'm going to leave speculation to other people. But this room, again, is very interesting. I believe what I'm looking at is a repurposed break room inside Giga Texas that the um, RoboTaxi team has repurposed as an operations center. And there's the money shot with Elon thumbs upping. There's the wider picture with the developer laptops inside the conference room at the different location. And again, we see the um, RoboTaxi cameras. The operations room, this is the same operations room because you can see the same desk. This is just looking towards the screens. And then the other picture is looking away from the screens. So I'm very confident that's what I'm looking at. Uh, once again, the developer MacBooks and the mixed environment with Windows running on the operation screens. We've got five screens going to uh, robo-taxis with an additional screen over here. So I'm thinking at least six robo-taxis. Um, and uh, this crew congregating for a group photo. Anyway, I just thought having someone who uh, works in these types of environments and likely is seeing things that other people are not might be helpful to filling in some of the um, color to the situation. And again, just as a summary, what I'm seeing is a company that threw together an operations um, area in haste and uh, quickly needed to get things spun up in order to get a job done for um, business reasons that I guess we could all speculate what those are. And this does not look to be a finished operations area. This looks to be, again, hastily thrown together. Normally, if I was going to be carving out the real estate of a operations uh, screen, I would do so with a lot more deliberation with um, all the real estate um, combined into one, make it one screen, and then you divvy it up into different um areas in order for uh, important information to be uh, presented. This to me looks very hastily thrown together. However, I don't see any cables. So something was done in order to make it look cosmetically nice as well. Um, I do see a Windows workstation and I see other Windows workstations over here as well. Anyway, that's what I see. Take it for what it's worth. The steering wheels are a bit of a concern, I guess it was a way of describing the feeling I get when I see those. Thanks for watching.